the $300 million mega mansion, Gateway Canyons. Gateway Canyons Resort is a luxury paradise in the middle of nowhere, Colorado, and is one of the best kept secrets in the American Southwest. The resort was designed by John Hendricks, the Discovery Channel's founder, and is bordered on all sides by canyons. The resort is an unusual blend of southwestern style and breathtaking panoramas in addition to its unique position and history. Gateway Canyons is a well-kept walking resort with lush landscaping. Throughout the land are structures built in the abode Santa Fe style. Its layout makes the most of the outstanding canyons vistas and outdoor living. Gateway Canyon Resort offers a variety of room kinds, each as lovely as the resort's facade and meticulously designed. Throughout the resort, guests will find spacious rooms, comfortable beds, high-quality linens and thoughtful touches such as deep tubs and spa-quality bath amenities. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe. Also, leave us a like and watch some of our other videos to help support the channel. Without any further delay, let us start. On this one, do not call the Mythbusters. John Hendricks, the inventor of Discovery Channel, has just listed his home resort and vehicle museum for a stunning $279 million. In the 1990s, the billionaire bought the isolated Gateway Colorado track and throughout the years he accumulated more acres and assets. With a 22,000 square foot main home, West Creek Ranch residence and a full service 72 room resort, it is currently known as Gateway Canyons Ranch and Resort. The main house at West Creek Ranch residence features eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, four stories and a Pueblo style facade. The luxurious residence interior features a two-level circular stone library, four water fountains, theatre, art studio, gym, pool, spa and observatory, as well as a western meets modern ranch design. Oh, and everything you see in this property is included in your purchase. The real thrill of being 45 miles from the next city is the incredibly bright night sky. No light pollution to obstruct stargazing, Hendricks said, of the 400 square foot observatory to the Wall Street Journal. It's incredible to see the Milky Way and astronomical objects like the Andromeda Galaxy. As a result, despite the fact that the acreage is essentially a city unto itself, the ranch remains secluded, being around 60 miles from the nearest airport. Of course, you will not need to go to the Jetaway very often because there's already an airport hangar, gas airstrip and two helipads on the property. Hendricks will also include a backup helicopter in the mix. To be sure, Hendricks Resort and Residence Business is located in one of Colorado's most beautiful areas. Guests of the resort or landowners of the 8,700-acre Cottonwood Red Rock Canyon can trek the LaSalle Mountain Range or wander along the flowing Dolores River. On the Uncompahgre Plateau, there are also many trophy-class hunting chances, with herds of 10,000 elk and 17,000 mule deer. The resort also serves as a museum, which is a rather urbane benefit. Hendricks was an avid vehicle collector, and as part of the Gateway Canyons Ranches and Resort portfolio, he built an open-to-the-public auto museum. Hendricks' personal car collection, as well as an on-site automobile museum with 55 historic cards, include a 1906 Cadillac and a fully working resort are now included in the listing. The Gateway Canyon Resort offers 72 guest accommodations, five restaurants, and corporate meeting facilities spread over numerous lodges and private villas. Over 50 automobiles from Hendrick's personal collection are on display at the Gateway Auto Museum, including a 1967 Shelby GT500. All historic automobiles will be passed down to the next owner. Finally, Hendricks created Gateway Canyons Resort and Spa in the mid-2000s, which is a fully-serviced luxury resort. Hendricks did not want to sell the resort as part of the Gateway deal, but he did believe he was spending less time on the property as a whole. Furthermore, it was said that individuals kept questioning about it if all of that real estate is not enough for you. Hendricks also got the go-ahead to develop 371 single-family homes or condominiums on the property should the future owner want to share all of the natural beauty. Alternatively, you can simply sit back, relax and take pride in the knowledge that you own one of the most impressive ranches ever constructed. Do not let the fact that Gateway Canyons Resort is in the middle of nowhere fool you into thinking there won't be anything to do. Guided hiking, biking, climbing trips are available at the resort. You could also go exploring on your own, depending on your skill level. 
If you can get out before sunrise, the morning following a full moon, and hike the trails that start right on the resort property. The full moon and sunrise were both visible, which is quite a spectacle. Off-road riding in UTVs or Jeeps, sports shooting, high-tech outdoor laser tag, archery, and air flights in the resort helicopter are just a few of the activities available at the Adventure Centre. We only had time to go horseback riding at Palisade Ranch during our brief vacation, which we thoroughly enjoyed. We were unhappy that we didn't get to experience the outdoor laser tag after speaking with Mandy, the activity centre manager. A minimum of 10 people is required. We would not often visit an auto museum, but even though we did not know anything about it, we knew it would be something we would enjoy. We walked around the lobby while checking in. The performing art of the American automobile, the Hendrix Collection on Exhibit, and the Gateway Colorado Auto Museum. A coffee table book drew our interest right away. John Hendrix's personal collection is on exhibit for resort guests at the Vehicle Museum. The one-of-a-kind 1954 Oldsmobile F88 concept automobile is the show's showpiece. Attending a session with Zubulon Miracle, the resort's curator of curiosities, was intriguing. He knows everything there is to know about this place. The oldest rock layers on the Palisade, the resort's main monument, is 290 million years old. The area has been inhabited for about 1,200 years. One of the most notorious bandits of the American West may have performed one of his first bank robberies in the area. We can only imagine what a treat it would be to go on one of Zebulon's expeditions as engaging as his presentation was. We didn't have time to indulge in a deluxe spa treatment because our vacation was brief, but we were able to enjoy the state-of-the-art steam room, sauna and outdoor spa. All of these amenities are available to resort guests at no additional cost. It was the ideal way to unwind after a long day. Gateway Canyons offer luxury and sports cars for hire to car enthusiasts. You may rent a Porsche 911, Bentley Continental, a Tesla Roadster, to speed along the winding mountain roads. In this remote corner of the American West, John Hendricks has managed to establish a unique level of luxury. You'll be pleased to discover that the majority of the resort's land is protected by conservation easement and that the resort is dedicated to energy conservation, scenic landscape preservation and essential wildlife habitat protection. Grand Junction, Colorado is the closest airport to Gateway Canyons. Regardless of your starting point, the drive to Gateway Canyons Resort is breathtaking. On the winding road nestled between canyons, the location south of Grand Junction feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. During the fall, the terrain to the north of the Gateway Canyons Resort turns a beautiful orange and crimson colour. Gateway Canyons is only an hour drive from Moab, a gravel route during the summer months. That is all for today, folks. See you soon with another amazing video.